Hello, my name is Pastor Tim Arthur. And I'm Esther Arthur, his wife. A fasting to me is important because the Bible teaches us that men shall not live by bread alone. And we live by what proceeds from the mouth of God. And Jesus says that he's the bread of life. And when we fast, it's essentially we humble ourselves and we recognize that God is really the one who sustains us. He is our life. So as we fast, we're saying to God, God, more than my daily bread, you are the one that I need. In Isaiah, it says that I am the high and holy one, yet I live with him who's contrite and humble of heart. And when we humble ourselves, we invite the presence of God and what we need in our homes on a daily basis is the presence of God. So fasting is a way of saying to God, I need you and I need you more than the things around me. I need you more than my food. I need you more than the things that keep me alive physically. You're the one that I need. It's also important for our children to be fasting with us because we teach our children lots of different things. We teach them to be kind, to be generous, to be noble, to be honest. We teach them the word of God. And just as we fast, I think it's important that we help our children to see the benefits that this discipline can produce in their lives. And there are times that the situation calls for us to seek God and to be more intentional about a particular circumstance that's happening in our family. So as our children are part of it, part of our family structure, and we do things together, we want them to be involved in every aspect of family life. And that's really why spiritual disciplines are caught, not taught. In other words, the children will see you do it mm. and see how it applies to your life so that when you then bring them in, they know why they're doing it and they model you when they do it. I just have an example, for instance. My son was going through a situation where he, he was desperate. He didn't think he could overcome it. And we encouraged him to fast. And he fasted. And um, he came back to me and said, Mom, that worked. Now, I couldn't teach him anything better for life than what he learned on that occasion. As adults, it can be a challenge to fast. And we recognize that helping children to inculcate this discipline in their lives might be even more of a challenge. But what we found is that while we as a family don't eat, children can give up other things. They can put other things aside. Uh, children are very much attached to, to their devices. And we want to give them the understanding that devices is not their life. What comes to on social media is not all the input that they should get, but that if you want to really hear from God and be quiet, we have to put aside the external noises, whether that's social media, television, games, what have you, for a season so that we can be quiet to hear the Lord. Now, for younger children, our son was maybe six or seven when he fasted he skipped snack time at school. Now for some children that may not be ideal. Maybe they may have to not take sweets or candies or cookies for a period. But based on our family situation, we have to know what are the things that if we set them aside would really help our children to hear the Lord and draw closer to Him. And it's, it's important to know and let the children know that a fast is not a hunger strike. It's a deliberate effort mm. to set aside something so that you'll be in a better place to hear God. It's their desire to want to get close enough to God. I'm going to set aside this time that I spend eating to just hear God. It's so important that we understand the, the joy that comes from drawing closer to the Lord. And as we lay aside the things that would distract us or would want to compete with His voice, 
we get the rewards, we get the benefits of drawing close to the Lord. So I want to encourage you parents, children, let us in this season really seek the Lord because He's the rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. He says that He lives among those who are lowly and contrite of heart. And as we humble ourselves with fasting, recognizing that He's our life, God will do amazing things in us beyond what we could think, imagine, or even hope for. So I encourage you, let's come together, let's fast and pray and see what God will do.